So, it turns out there's a sneaky little provision in a new Trump care bill. And that is, states will be banned from making single-payer systems. This is because a few states, New York, for instance, and um, another state, California, tried to implement single-payer. And I think New York has done so successfully. I'm not sure where California's at. But, yeah, l let's just read. Louisiana Republican Senator John Kennedy plans to use the most recent effort to repeal and replace portions of the Affordable Care Act to push an amendment that would bar states from enacting their own single-payer system, he told reporters on Monday. So, basically, you're against states' rights. Hey, um, I think someone should inform him about the Tenth Amendment to the United States Constitution. That being, things that aren't decided on a federal level are typically decided on a state level. That's how it's been interpreted, at least. It doesn't outright say that, but that's how it's been interpreted since the 1700s. That was one of the first Supreme Court cases. But, okay. Here's a quote from him. I don't think states should have the authority to take money from the American taxpayers and set up a single-payer system. So you don't think states should have the authority to save American taxpayers $14 trillion overall. Again, we've covered it on the show before. Creating a single-payer system costs $27 trillion. Our current system costs $41 trillion. Creating a single-payer system would get us 70% of the way to balancing the budget. That's a provable fact. Now, some people think that's inconsistent with the idea of flexibility, but that's what the United States Congress is for. I very much believe in flexibility, and I know the governors want flexibility, but it's our job to make sure that money is properly spent. Which is why there's a portion in the bill that allows governors to use Medicaid money however they want, including in ways that aren't related to Medicaid. Oh, God. Okay. But this is something that another Republican senator, Lindsey Graham, who we've covered a few times, said... I believe that Republicans like the idea of a state-controlled health care versus Washington, D.C. controlled health care. So, why can't states that aren't Republican create single-payer systems? Why not? You want to know why it is? Because if they actually do create a single-payer Medicare for All system, which is happening right now, People are going to want it more, and eventually they're going to be insulted and voted out because, you know, they don't support the system. Just wow. It's basically a trick that they use in order to make sure that you are stuck in a right-wing bubble. Because that's what these people want. They want America to be stuck in this huge right-wing libertarian bubble. I don't know. That's it. I'm Ephraim, and good night.